The Caribbean island, which is a U.S. territory, has been hit by a series of quakes in the past days, with the strongest striking early Tuesday. Puerto Rico Governor Wanda Vasquez warned citizens that the seismic activity could continue. We have communicated with the United States Geological Survey, and they have informed us that this type of movement may continue for the next few days. We must be prepared, and we must have our individual and family plans ready in case new tremors occur. Schools and government offices were closed Tuesday, and many residents were afraid to return home for fear of collapsing structures. There is a feeling of panic because we are expecting something stronger to happen, something worse. And really, there is a feeling of instability and panic with people here from this town. On Monday morning, a 5.8 magnitude quake struck the island, destroying five homes in the southwest coastal town of Guanica and causing severe damage to many others. The quake was followed by a string of smaller tumblers tumblers. Then, before dawn Tuesday, a stronger quake, measuring a magnitude of 6.4, struck the southern coast. The governor said Puerto Rico has not experienced such a situation in more than a hundred years. We are talking about something for which we could not prepare, like for hurricanes, which we can see coming and have different information so we can protect our property. We are talking about a situation that happens without notice. Vasquez said she has requested help from the National Guard to assist residents in the wake of the earthquake. Puerto Rico is still recovering from devastating Hurricane Maria that hit the island in September of 2017, killing about 3,000 people and destroying much of the infrastructure. Zlarica Hope, VO News, Washington.